el tiempo tienes un efecto sobre mí I don't know why Quien controle, rótalo y enciende los motores On the ground, no, ni si te haría Que calor, que calor Me en the zone, en the zone Que las vi en mí Vamos a una isla este fin Habita y coco fue ahí Good morning! If you haven't already watched any of my other videos, I am a new mama who loves motherhood, art, interior styling and homemaking. And today is actually so exciting because we are going to be turning the spare room into my art studio. I'm a little bit embarrassed because I'm gonna be showing you clips to this side of the current state of the spare room. Now, it literally had turned to just a dump room since we've moved in, had the baby, and we just chucked laundry in there and spare things in there. But that's okay because today we're cleaning it. We're going to create pretty much an introvert space for me where I can create, I paint, read a book, and do some fun things in there. I have been currently using this living room and the dining space here to pretty much do all of my creating. So it's gonna be really lovely having my own space. I hope you enjoyed this video of turning the spare room into an art studio. I couldn't push it. <laughs> things are left that I have to do is cleaning all my paints in the corner over there and rearranging that. I've got to also clean my white chair and the drawers in this corner and my weights. <laughs> There's a bit of things everywhere so just figuring out where everything should go and I think we've got to play a game of Tetris to find out. <laughs> I love you, mama, for life, oh, for life, oh, wow, 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 wow. Get myself some money, there, money, there. Get myself some sushi, there, sushi, there. Cry, man, just a fit up. Me, a fit up for life. I have now cleared the space. It already looks way better than it was before. I've cleaned the drawers and all of my art stuff just out of the way. I'm thinking that I put the drawer against this wall here. Maybe more to the left side, and I'm thinking the chair to the right, then the art studio kind of in this corner. We've got natural light through the window shining this way, so when I'm painting, I obviously want natural light to help me look at the colours of the paint, and it just works better. So I'm thinking studio this way, chair that side, drawers behind me. Once I move everything and see in those areas, we'll see how it goes. If not, we will change a few things. chair 
like where I'm going to place the studio but I kind of like the idea that it looks at the studio and I love that there's still enough space to get my clothes and walk through as well. So studio space to also hang up some paintings on the walls. I had painted this one about a couple years ago now. Originally before we bought a house we had a house that we were renting and I painted this specifically for the dining room. But now that we have done our house renos, we actually don't have much wall space in our living room. And so I thought that this painting would be really cool to hang up here. But I thought that that would look good here. Then I'm thinking this painting, which I also originally painted for my living room. I thought that this would be really cool to hang up on this wall. I feel like it really goes parallel to the drawers. I might get my husband to help me hang these up and we'll see how that looks. Can I just show you how cute my baby is? Hi, teddy bear. Good morning! It is day two of setting up my art studio, which I'm so excited about. It did get a little bit dark last night and I got a little bit tired setting up. And so today we are going to add a few more decor to the room. We're also going to hang up some paintings. But before we do, I thought I would make a tea. Quick story time. It is the next day, so it's Saturday today and yesterday, which was Friday, I started setting up my art studio, which I have been meaning to set up for a very long time. We originally moved into this house a couple years ago and I've always wanted my own art studio when I bought a house. Anyway, we did a few things. We traveled to Europe. We traveled to New Zealand. We were working full time. I actually was working three jobs. So we lived very busy lives and then we had a baby and so we were pretty occupied with just life and everything and I didn't really make time to paint and get creative because I was so focused on preparing for the baby and getting everything sorted with the house. We were busy doing renovations so that they were all done before the baby. It was a crazy season of life. Now that we have had the baby, we've set up her nursery. We originally had a study room, but because we hardly used it, I sold my study table, I sold the bookcase that was in there, and we just had a spare room that pretty much turned to a storage room, and we just chucked everything in there that we weren't using. Now fast forward to having the baby and her being out of her newborn phase, I was like, it is now time to start getting creative again. And then 
then I had launched my boutique business, Alice Pearl Company or AlicePearl.co, which I'll actually create a, another video explaining the behind the scenes of the brand and the business. Now that I've launched that, it is now time to have my own space where I can get creative, separate to the living room, separate to my bedroom and the nursery and where I can paint and have my creative time. So that's why we have set up the studio. And so today we're going to hang up the paintings and do the final touches to the room. And I'm excited to show you the final result. And then what I'm thinking is removing this pillow. I used to have gray everything in the house, but now I'm kind of weaning the gray out and putting some more warm colors into the house because I have a lot of white and black and neutral colors around the house. So I'm gonna swap this pillow with my brown Moroccan pillow, which was originally on my couch, but I have many pillows on there. So we're going to place this one here. And I thought that that would really match the vibe of the room with the brown easel, the brown boxes and makes the room a little bit more warmer. Then I'm thinking I'll add a glass vase with some foliage in that corner where the printer is so that it looks a little bit more lively and dressed up. to hang up the black square painting which is 40 inches times 40 inches on this wall and we're going to put a few hooks close together so that it's more of a universal hook to place on the wall so that if I paint something new I can also kind of use it as like a photo shoot photo wall. wall. Photo wall? Photo shoot wall? Display wall. Display wall. <laughs> Quisiera parar el tiempo Tienes un efecto sobre mí I don't know why Quien controle Rótalo y enciende los motores On the ground of music turn it up Que calor, que calor Me in the sun, in the sun Quedas with me Vamos a una isla este fin Habita y coco for heat Como sería, pienso en ti noche y día 